I'm stand here today because I want to talk to you about the currency of PEP and why I think that is the most important currency we as a LARP community have. Now, I stand here, as uh, Johanna said, both as a professional LARP organizer, but also very much so as a passionate, doing it for free, even if I really don't have the time, LARP organizer. And there's plenty of reasons why I do that, but I will argue that the biggest reason is PEP. Now, what is PEP anyway? Uh, it's an uh, English word from the beginning uh, that we borrowed into the Swedish language, but as with so many other words, it sort of took on its own life when it entered into a new language. In America, as far as my Google research takes me, pep seems to be connected to sports of some reason. There are pep rallies and pep talks, and even if you can have a pep talk maybe at your workplace, it still seems to be very, I guess, kept into certain circles. And for most Americans that I've talked to, it seems to have a sort of like 50s plastic pink feeling, sort of like <laughs> hep. Um, that is not quite what it means in Sweden anymore. There is a lot of words that sort of ties into what I mean when I say pep. And I will now try to explain the difference between what I call pep and words such as hype, psyched, or cred. Now, while hype and psyched are more like actual, you know, synonyms to the word, cred is more another kind of currency that's also very important for the LARP community, which I also will tell you more about in a minute. Uh, whereas psyched and hyped are very important, in its own way. It is not quite the same thing as pep, not as we Swedes talk about it anyway. Hyped is something you actively do to your LARP. You sort of get the cool venue, you build a cool web page, you get the cool people talking about your cool project, and then you take some really cool promotion pictures and you put them on the internet. And if you're really lucky, you get this cool movie company coming and shooting your trailer. However, well, hype is what gets, you know, uh, your site to crash when you launch your LARP or fills it up within an hour. It is sort of like empty calories. If you don't continuously feed the hype, it will just drizzle down and then your participants will stand there in the end going, huh, it was just like a normal LARP but with a good trailer. Psyched, on the other hand, is a little bit closer to the Swedish pep. You can psych yourself up to do something cool, and you can psych your friends to go do the thing, you know? You fill yourself with all that energy and, and happiness. But I rarely hear people saying that they are super psyched to do the dishes. Or, you know, I'm so psyched to carry these buckets of excrements through the forest. <laughs> However, in Sweden, many a LARP organizer and LARP volunteer have been so pepped to carry those buckets of excrements. <laughs> the reason for this is because pep is something that is born out of the passion, the knowledge that you're doing something that's meaningful and that fills you with an inner glow of joy. <laughs> so, cred then. Cred is an extremely important currency in the LARP community. Cred is how most of us make our living. If it wasn't for cred, we wouldn't get people to come to our organized savings. It gives us the faithful participant pool that shows up every time we launch a new LARP. And the rumor of our competence is what spreads through the society. You can also, as with any currency, trade with cred. You know, you come and write characters for my LARP for free, and then you get the cred of being on the web page to my cool LARP. I see Klaus jo jumping for joy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but to give cred where cred is due is extremely important. To forget to actually give cred to those who helped you do your thing is what kills the pep. And here we come back to it again, why pep is actually more important than cred. Because sure, cred will make people know of your game, or LARP, I should say. But pep is what makes them actually go there. 
if you don't have the pep in your participant pool, they won't really have the will to go to the really cool cred-filled project. Marketing and branding. In a community such as ours that is sort of walking on the edge between professionalism and just enthusiastic volunteer work, marketing and branding is just as important as in any part of life. For a lucky few, like myself, we actually manage to make a living doing what we love and yearn for. But most people have to do it for free. And even those of us who can get money out of organizing LARPs do so on the backs of countless of people who work for free just because they are pepped about our projects. There is a reason this picture of a random Scottish, or maybe Polish, I don't know, <laughs> castle, makes us all think of certain people, certain settings, and certain LARP styles. And the reason for that is because this is what we are building ourselves on. People knowing what we're doing and giving us the cred. But, as I've been mentioning a lot of times, cred is only valuable as long as you have the pep to build it up with. It is a functional currency, but PEP is more important. We are and have always been a community of enthusiasm, as long as I've been a part of this anyway, and I hope that we always stay that way. We do what we do because we have a passion for it, because we can't help not doing LARP. It's what makes us tick, it's what makes we, us happy, and it is what made all these wonderful connections that I see around me today. It builds friendships, and that's important. And that, my friends, are the root of PEP. You see, even when we, like me and my friend Erland on this picture, has uh, spent a week in a forest, in a tent, working for about 12 to 18 hours a day to make someone else's dream come true, we are happy because we know that we're doing something that's meaningful to us. It doesn't matter that what we're doing is boring, because we know that the produce of what we are doing is bringing joy into the world. And it might seem a little bit naive, me standing here and saying it, but believe me, I would never have done some of the crazy things I've been doing only these few short years I've been active if it wasn't for the fact that I truly believe that this is true. And without PEP, LARP as we know it today would die. There wouldn't be anyone organizing anymore. No one would help carrying those buckets I was talking about before, writing those characters, cleaning those castle floors. We need PEP to survive and to continue to grow and build. You purchase PEP, as with any good currency, by creating good things. And you pay with PEP by helping in these creations, talking about them and investing time and energy into them, whether you are a volunteer or a participant. So, pure pep. I think pure pep is that feeling that you can see on those dogs' face. And that is sort of the f feeling that I have when I'm lying there tired in the grass after a week of hard work. I hope that we always keep this pep flowing, that we keep giving each other these amazing experiences and helping each other achieve them. As long as we keep sharing, helping, dreaming, and LARPing, I think we will be okay. Thank you.